What's up? We're gonna kill Scurious. He is a mid-level boss, so obviously as an endgame player, I'm here gonna farm the crap out of him. He has a pet, it's 1 in 3k, that's what I'm here for. He drops 10k average loot per kill, a bunch of alcohols, so I have the Explorer's Ring. He can typically stay an hour if you bring 3 Super Combats, Divine, and 10 Prayer Potions. He does have a way for you to heal if you eat the cheese in the corners of the room once every 10 minutes. Kind of like a God Wars altar. Uh, and if you flick, then this amount of prayer pots will be great. And this amount of food will be enough for an hour. I bring Death's Charge and Thralls, just because why not? With Death's Charge, I'll be able to probably get off a DDS spec once every kill. And there's a certain amount of damage which you can do to prompt him to stop eating the cheese. So that's what we're going for with the DDS. There's some discussion about the best setup to use. So first of all, Rapbone Weaponry is king. Um, at least that's what everyone thinks. The gear discord says that Scythe and Blowpipe are actually better. Those two options cost money to use, whereas Bone Mace and Bone Weaponry is virtually free. So I, I'm going to be using the Bone Mace. There's some discussion about maybe like using Void, Mage, with the rap bow and staff or void or azori with the rap bow and bow um i'm just gonna stick to melee because it's easy and it makes the most sense to me uh, but keeping that in mind we do have to pray melee next since we're gonna be standing next to the boss most of the time let's get into it it's a pretty simple boss uh, there's normal and private so normal you can kill with your friends there's a higher xp multiplier so you're going to get more XP per hour. This boss is aimed at mid-level players. Um, it gives you like a, almost over 100,000 XP per hour in your combat style. So it's going to be a great way to train your stats. Private instance is more geared towards players like me, a solo player who is just here for the pet. Um, there's really no reason to use normal to, to use normal unless you're with your friends. Um, if you don't get the MVP in the normal room, then you only get around 2k worth of loot. If you do, then you get the, the normal 10k, but if you're in the private instance, you're going to get the MVP every time, and you're going to get that 10k loot. Quick pairs on Protect from Melee and Piety, and we're going to be flicking a little bit, uh, just to stay engaged, because it's pretty low intensity. And let's get into it. So... He drops boulders from the ceiling. You can go to any one of these three food piles. And while he's eating, the rats on his back will be throwing things at you. So you just change your prayer accordingly. Green, or what people, some people call the farts, are range. As soon as he starts to move, you need to pray melee. And to finish my other thought, blue is mage. And then in this phase, you need to make sure to switch not only from protect from range of mage, but also melee. He also drops a lot of food. And I use about one dose of prayer potion per kill and and um what was i gonna say i didn't use death charge that time um, i just forgot so we'll make sure to do that so this is what i was talking about i'm trying to do enough damage to get him off of this so i'll just spam I could have sworn if you do enough damage, he gets off with the cheese, but he might just eat a certain amount before he gets off. Either way, I like the Dragon Dagger. The Gear Discord says that you should use Claws, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think, especially when it's a low level boss and I'm killing an end, gear, end game gear. The big advantage of Rat Bone Weaponry is that you can kill his summoned rats in one tick. 
you can just machine gun rapid fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click them. Each of your attacks go through in one hit. I'm just killing him so fast that I'm forgetting to use Death's Charge. So I'm just gonna use Death Charge off cooldown. Uh, because I'm pretty sure these kills are all less than a minute. And I started at 123. We'll see how many kills per hour is it kills per hour I get. With Bandos, you're pretty safe. And by that I mean you have very high defense. So even with the protect from even with the range attack, you don't take much damage. So pray range and then go back to melee. And here's the machine gun that I was telling you about. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a big reason why there's so much XP to be had from this boss. Um, because you can one tick his minions for easy XP. So let's get into a habit here. I'm going to be summoning a Thrall and casting Death's Charge at the same time at the beginning of every fight. And then I'm just going to Lazy Flick Piety and Camp Prey Melee. And remember, as soon as he walks away, Prey Melee... More often than not, I'll get smacked out of nowhere. Because uh, you actually don't have a lot of time to react when he's coming off of the cheese. It's a little bit predictable because he's only supposed to eat a certain amount. I don't know that amount, so to me it's random. And um, I haven't. I only ate an angler to free up some inventory space. I can eat from the cheese pile whenever I want, and then after that, there's a 10 minute timer, or a 10 minute cooldown. And I could have it on, I could have my rep on weaponry on strength to get a higher max hits, but um, I'm just, I prefer to train attack right now. I'm already 99, yeah, whatever, but you know. 200 mil mindset. See right there, he just immediately walked away and smacked me. I could have taken some damage, but I didn't because I have such a high defense level with the bandos. So I see, I, I anticipated him walking away. Range, melee. Mage, melee. It's pretty uncommon that he'll me melee you in this phase, it seems like. But it certainly can happen. And another thing is these freaking rats, man. They say they're level 48, but I don't know. They, they poke through my bandos like it's nothing. They don't get it. I, I don't understand it at all. Um, maybe I just need to get Torva so that these level 48 rats don't poke me for as much damage as they do. But I feel like they're programmed differently or something, man, with like high accuracy, you know what I'm talking about? Almost like those little Necriarchs that the Necrioles summon. I think they ignore defense, these fucking rats, I swear. See, I don't know if you caught that, but he was just walking to eat some cheese, but then I did enough damage where he just went to the next phase. So maybe I should be saving my specs once he's off the cheese. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that from now on. Once he's off the cheese, that's when I'm going to use the specs. So if you haven't noticed by now, this is kind of like a loose guide slash walkthrough me figuring out how I'm going to be farming Scurious for the pet. 
There are some other methods. You can like literally AFK blood barrage him. It's very expensive for a pet, especially when you only get 10k in loot on average back. But it's certainly an option. With mage, you can freeze him. And he actually doesn't walk up to you to melee you. See, he just smacked the hell out of me. And just one cool thing. You can go from a rat to Scurrius and in the next tick. When you hit these rats, it only takes one tick and it actually does not affect your weapon cooldown at all. So if he's dropping per potions, I can basically stay here for as long as my divines last. I don't if you've noticed I haven't eaten an angler. Uh, because you know, with this gear, hitting your prayers, and even using the food, which I haven't even had to use yet. Um, there's an incredible amount of sustain. Some people even bring a freaking blood fury. And at that point, you're going to be here forever. This is probably the most... One of the most engaging parts of the fight. Just trying to anticipate him walking off the cheese. And if you kill him fast enough, he doesn't summon the rats. As you can see, like I said, the loot average on average is 10k. Um, and there's a lot of supply drops, so you'll often get less than that. Seems like the whole point of this boss is like almost like a mini nightmare in terms of the sustain. Like they want you to stay here and get multiple kills. It's geared towards lower levels, so, you know, if I was a lower level player, I killed Scurrius and I get enough food to get another kill, you know, that's exciting. As an endgame player, I don't really need anything except for the prayer potions. See, I wasn't quick enough there. You got, like, you have to camp prey melee if you don't want to get hit. He just comes off the cheese so inconsistently. And as an endgame player, if you're hitting your prayer switches, even if you don't, it's very forgiving because he drops a lot of food. So here I'm trying to figure out how to best understand when he's coming off the cheese. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of cues. So like I can go up to the rat, act as curious. There's no reason to do that. Really, you just want to save the rats until the end, unless you know you're gonna die or you don't like how much they're poking you. Oh shit! I Oh, okay, good, I dropped it. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward boss. I like spank and take bosses like this. I have like over 4,000 KBD KC because I just love spank and take bosses with pretty simple mechanics. So I'll probably just, you know, hang out here until I get the pet. It's not going to be very lucrative at all. But a pet is a pet. Hopefully you were able to pick something up from, you know, my mouse movements and 
how I kill this boss and the patterns. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll be interested to see when the calcs come out. You know, what actually the best way to kill this, this guy is. Because, you know, maybe the Rapone Mace, or maybe the Rapone Bow, or the Rapone Staff, or even Blowpipe or Scythe, like, are actually better and result in a significant increase in kills per hour. Who knows? Um, I definitely want to be killing this guy in the most efficient way. As of right now, I'd say I'm on pace for, given the fact that I'm summoning a Thrall and it's coming off a cooldown um, every kill, I'd say I'm on pace for 60 kills an hour. So, honestly, there's probably not going to be too much of a difference. Signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.